Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Ellie in Space, and this is your Space News Roundup. SpaceX has just launched its Gen 2 satellites for the first time without Starship. Let me explain. First of all, this marks SpaceX's 60th flight of the year, which is remarkable in itself, something that Elon applauded on Twitter. Back in March, we learned that this was SpaceX's goal. They were aiming for at least 60 launches. So yeah, can you imagine how crazy 2023 is gonna be? And they barely made the cutoff for these 60 launches. Early Wednesday, December 28th, SpaceX launched 54 of these upgraded Starlink satellites. Now these mini Gen 2 satellites will add more capacity to the network, but they were launched on a Falcon 9. And this is because they made a smaller version and recently got a new license enabling their deployment. These Gen 2 sats will be deployed to new orbits that will add more capacity, more customers, and, and you'll like this, provide faster service, especially if you live in an area that is oversubscribed. Which reminds me, subscribe to Ellie in Space if you haven't already, it's completely free. Gen 2 Starlinks are more powerful than the current 3300 Starlink sats already in orbit. Also, these Gen 2s will be able to beam service directly to your smartphone. Well, Orion was spotted making its way back to the Sunshine State. So after a journey around the moon, what's a little road trip? Orion recently splashed down in the Pacific Ocean after a 1.4 million mile trip around the moon and back. But of course, Orion won't truly be home until it's back on the Space Coast. And yeah, it might not be as slow as the crawler, but it's going to take a few days for it to make the cross country journey. This picture and video was captured Monday by New Mexico resident Craig Schinnerer as Orion went down Highway 62. The Orion spacecraft was launched as part of the Artemis 1 mission on November 16th, and I am just still so grateful that I was able to see this in person, especially after flying to Florida in September, only for it to be scrubbed. I was on the fence about going back in November, but I'm really glad I did. Now keep in mind, once Orion is home, its avionics will be checked and some even removed to be put in the Orion spacecraft for Artemis II. Orion should make it to Florida by the end of the year, which hard to believe, it's almost here. Is China getting its own version of the James Webb Space Telescope? Well, according to space.com, China unveiled plans for the largest optical telescope in Asia. Peking University wants to build the largest optical telescope in Asia and close the gap in astronomy capabilities with the rest of the globe. Their goal is for an initial telescope to have an aperture of six meters by 2024. That mirror will be expanded to eight meters by 2030. The project, which in English is called the Expanding Aperture Segmented Telescope, or EAST, is being led by Peking University. This telescope will, quote, greatly improve China's observation capabilities in optical astronomy, according to a Peking University statement. So I definitely wanted to inform you about the SpaceX Gen 2 satellites being launched because I think there was a little bit of confusion on that. Of course, the goal is to eventually launch those on Starship, but, you know, we've been waiting for over 18 months now. I'm not you know, naming any names. <laughs> but uh, obviously, this is great that they have a mini version that they can get going. And then they will switch over once Starship is actually, uh, you know, capable and in operation. So my goal with these space news roundups is to try and do these as often as possible. Uh, with the amount of news that we've seen just this year alone, it should be something that Hopefully I can accomplish every day. I mean, the world is kind of slowed down right now with the holidays, but ideally I'd like to give you a space news roundup daily, if not every other day. So hopefully you enjoy these formats. Again, if you really love my boots on the ground interviews, well, those aren't going anywhere, but I can only travel so much. And so I'm hoping that this is the best of both worlds where we keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of space and also bring you exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews that you're just not gonna see anywhere else. So thank you so much for watching this episode and I will see you in the next one. And hey, if I don't see you until next year, happy new year.